Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Shell's here from Shell Spa Products. And I've got a lot of new subs since my last video upload, so welcome to all the new subscribers. Today I'm going to be working on um, custom soaps for a baby shower. And these are going to be for um, a, a co-worker of mine, really sweet, sweet girl. And this is her first baby. So we wanted to do some fun soaps. I will show you. I had a tripod issue um, last night and I was not able to film the first two soaps, but I'm going to film the next two soaps and then I'll also film the cutting of all four soaps. So let me show you the two that I did last night. All right. So this is the first soap that I did. This one is Japanese Cherry Blossom and um, she requested um, kind of like a spoon swirl on the inside. I used a skewer and then um, some piping on top. And so we did that and then we have the little um, pink and blue teddy bears. And I thought those were super cute. And um, this is a non-gender reveal kind of party. This is just a, um, they do not know the sex of their baby, which is so exciting. And so um, that's why we included pink and blue. So let me show you the other loaf. This is the second loaf that I did. Um, this one is Daisy Dream Girl, and the orange or the orange that you see on the top in here is morphing back into yellow. It um, I used a Crafter's Choice mica. I forgot which one, but anyway, it it um, turned into orange, and I already had another orange color in the soap, and so I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much orange. But you can see if I turn it around a little bit, maybe where. Um, the orange is starting to come back to the yellow color, but we still have the teddy bears on top, the pink and blue. And then um, this has the same kind of swirl inside. I'm gonna do the same swirl for all four, and then the piping on top and the teddy bears. So today we are gonna do um, Honey, I Wash the Kids, and then I'm also gonna do uh, a batch of Purple Hooters. Um, since we were doing individual loaves, um, she picked four different fragrances, so those are the four that we picked. I thought this was so cute too. I put two little teddy bears on the back just hanging out. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with today's soaps and then we will cut all of them at the end. And also, she did request that I um, crinkle cut the soaps um, with my crinkle cutter. And so, I don't know that I'll be able to do that this way but I will do them sideways just because it does add a little bit of exfoliation when you have the ridges on the bar until they wear down. Me and her both really like that on our soap so I think I'll do a sideways crinkle cut on them um, whenever we get ready to do the cut. I won't be using my bud cutter but we will get to that part. So on with today's soap, I think the first one I'm going to do is the Honey I Wash the Kids. This is going to be a long video for those of you who like to watch soap making and cutting. Um, stay tuned. This should be a fun one. All right. So I've got everything ready to go. Let me get my oils out of the microwave. I had to melt them down just a little bit. All right. So I am using seven different oils in this batch. Um, in it, I have... Let me go through them. I have coconut oil, lard, rice bran, castor, soybean, cocoa butter, and shea butter. And I'm using um, organic, non-GMO, non-refined of any way, like cocoa butter and shea butter. And sometimes that does put little bits. And I noticed when the cocoa butter was uh, melting earlier that um, if you see the occasional little black bit or speck in the soap, it's from the organic cocoa butter. So I don't worry too much about that because that's just part of the natural soap. All right. So I'm not using any additives, no milks, no clay, no oatmeal or anything in these soaps. Um, I am using some sodium lactate in my lye solution. It is just a slight water discount, um, distilled water and sodium lactate. So I'm going to go ahead and get that poured in there. Okay, let me get this out of the way. 
All right. So tap that out just a little bit. <laughs> going to make sure this is all emulsified and then I'll split it off. Um, the honey I washed the kids, I don't remember um, accelerating the last time I made it. Alright, I'm going to move my plate over here. I'm going to split it off. Um, this one I'm going to do, let's see, one, two, three, five colors. I tried to pick pastel colors like, um, I'll show you as soon as I get ready to add them to each different cup here. And I don't want tons because I still want some white for the top. So the first one, I've got some baby grasshopper green from Crafter's Choice. It's kind of a nice, pretty green color. All right. Let me go ahead and put that in here. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I haven't filmed in a really long time, so hope everything's on frame. Let me check it and see. All right, I think we're all in there. Okay, then the next one I'm going to do is some baby blue. Then I have some, uh, the baby blue, that was from Nurture Soap. Um, then I'm going to use some pig pink mica. This one is from Be Scented. And I've used this one several times since I've gotten it. I love it. And then the last one I'm going to do, I think it's yellow chiffon from Nurture. No, lemon chiffon. That's what it is. Lemon chiffon mica from Nurture. So with my gloves on, let's see if I can get this one open. Yay. Oops. Mica poof. All right. We're going to do a little bit of the yellow in there. Those are going to be pretty. The last time I made this soap, I think I did all neons, so I thought I would go pastels this time. All right. Okay, so I'm going to add the titanium dioxide to the rest of this. The rest, okay, anyway, we're adding some titanium dioxide, and I like to use the water-soluble kind. It's just what I started using, and it works really well, so. All right, we're going to add some fragrance. I'm going to give these a stick blend and they should be ready for the pour. Start with the white here. Hmm, that's pretty. Okay, we'll move over to the yellow. to the green. Okay, everything. 
everything is ready to pour, let me get a paper towel. Oh, here's my towel right here. Never mind. There we go. All right, let me grab a mold. We'll get... All right, can you guys see that? Yes, okay, good. So, I think I'm going to start with just a little white, and then I want to make sure that all the colors are inside the soap. So, we'll start with some white. And then I'm just going to alternate um, different colors. I'll start with pink. And I'm going to try to pour little thin lines in there so I can get a little delicate swirl. And again, this yellow turned orange. But if I can. The green's nice and fluid, too. Okay, now we're going to go in with a little bit more white. And now I'm going to try to finish out and get that color in there. Yeah, I'll pour it right handed. She was nice enough to give me um, creative freedom with the colors, which was so much fun. Just a tiny bit more white. All right, now the color's got to go in there. <clears throat> Get everything scraped down real good. Now, hoping this one morphs back to that really pretty yellow, which I'm sure it will. <laughs> I don't know why yellows tend to do that, but... But they sure do. Alright, 
that's all for that one. I'm going to give that just a little bit of a snack down here. After I wipe that up. Alright. Alright, now I'm going to get the rest of this green in there. blue and then I'm going to go ahead and give it the swirl and then I'll put the rest on top before I do the piping. Alright, let's go ahead and get our swirl in there and I'm just taking a regular old wooden skewer here. Let me get this white soap out of the way. Can you guys see that? Okay, cool. Alright, anyways, I'm just going to go in and then get the other side and then go reverse. All right, we'll see how that turns out. Okay, now I'm gonna scrape out my containers and get ready for the white to set up so I can pipe that on top. Just going to even that out a little bit here. So I used to have a lot of problems with soda ash with my soaps. Um, I'm not sure why. I just always have had it. Um, and so what I decided to do was try 99% um, alcohol instead of 91% alcohol and that has made a huge difference. All right. So the 99% alcohol has been keeping the ash off really, really well. It also helps set the soap up a little bit and get the top ready for the piping. Give that just a little smack down. So now I'm going to take um, the white soap and I'm going to put it in some press and seal. It makes my bag clean up a lot, a lot easier because I like to pipe with a cloth bag. And um, when you put it in some press and seal first, then you just toss the bag basically. So. It has the soap in it, I mean. All right, that seems fairly set up. Let me get my spatula here. definitely saves me cleanup time on the piping bag. There's usually just a little bit of soap right at the tip there where the, um, the piping tip is. All right. 
So now, all I have to do is just kind of wrap that up, twist up the ends, and then once that's ready to pipe, I just drop that in the piping bag. I learned this trick from um, Jen over at um, a and Suds and Such. And I thought it was fantastic, so it works really, really well, but it, it's extremely loose right now. So what I'm going to do is set that next to that loaf, and then I'm going to pause you guys while I get set up for the next soap, and then we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now I am ready to pipe the top of this soap here. This is still the Honey I Wash the Kids. I washed up my soap dishes while I waited for the, the piping to get ready to go. So I've got that here. I'm going to go ahead and give this a spritz on top just to make sure the piping sticks good. Alright, let me get that. And I'm just snipping the end off of this little bag here. And then I've already got my tip in, and then I'm just going to go ahead and scoot the bag on down in there. Alright, perfect. Now we'll move you back over here where you can see, I think. I'm going to put the loaf this way. I seem to pipe straighter if it's kind of long ways, so let's move over here so you can see. Okay. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to keep my elbow out of your way. Just doing three dollops across. So far, so good. I used to pipe the most lopsided soaps ever. Hope you guys can see good. go back and put two more dollops on each row and those are going to hold the little teddy bears Looks pretty decent. All right, so there's the piping before we put the embeds on, and then I've got my little pink and blue teddy bears here that I'm going to be putting on top. And I did blue and pink on the last two loaves, so this two I'm going to do pink and blue. So cute. And I'm not going to glitter these because they are probably unisex favors, so I didn't figure glitter would be appropriate. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's 
Så vi en. Ett. I hope my arm's not in your way the whole time. There it is, ten. And I'll just pop on a couple more there at the end. Perfect. All right, there we have it, guys. This one is the Honey I Wash the Kids. And then we'll be back to work on Purple Hooters. That's the last one of the custom order, so we will be back. Also, I did unmold the black cherry, um, Japanese cherry blossom. Yeah, Japanese cherry blossom, and I also unmolded, um, uh, the name of it. Oh, Daisy Dream Girl. So I'm going to be cutting those here in just a little bit. But for now, I'm going to put this one over here, give it a nice spritz of alcohol, and then... We will get started on soap number two. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back in just a sec. All right, everybody. We are back to make purple hooters this time. And I've already got some titanium dioxide in my oils because I want it to be kind of a more pastel color. I'm going to do a pink, a purple, and then I'm going to do white, and I'm going to add some fairy dust to that. So let me get this titanium dioxide blended into the oils a little bit. Alright, and before I get touching my lie, I'm going to go grab a pair of gloves. Alright. Got the lye solution right back here. Pretty good and emulsified there. So I'm going to leave the white in here, but I'm going to pour off some for the purple and the pink. I'm using the pig pink again from uh, Be Scented. And then I'm also using Cyber Great Mica from Nurture Soap. And then this is the fairy dust that I'm adding to the white portion. fragrance over here and this soap does behave pretty well so I don't mind going ahead and putting the fragrance in
to the pink first. That's really pretty festive. And then we'll get the purple. There's a little more pastel purple that I would like. I'm going to get a different color purple and add to that. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of Purple Galaxy Mica from Crafter's Choice. Hi, sweetie. Hello. We barbecued today. Well, he did, and I didn't. We ate barbecue today, though. It was really good. I just made a batch of this soap about two weeks ago, maybe. Maybe a week ago. I don't know, but it, it's on my curing rack and it smells really good. All right, looks like we are ready for a mold. Ooh, this white is so pretty with that in there. All right, let's get ready to pour this one. Ready here. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Actually, we'll start with white like that. I am right-handed. I have no idea why I pour soap left-handed. I'll try it right-handed. Mmm, smells delicious. Alright, I'm going to get just a little bit more white in there. Scrape these out and get the rest of this in there. I love these colors. I don't use pastel colors enough when I soap. I usually use really bright colors. This would be pretty in a lavender soap. So what kind of soaps do you guys like? I'm always curious. What are the favorite soaps of subscribers and the soap community in general? I always tend to stick with the fruities and the dessert type ones and the drink ones and things like that. But I am always curious what people do like because it seems like a lot of people like minty soaps like peppermint, rosemary, tea tree and those type of soaps, which I've never been a big fan of, but I've never really made those type of soaps. All right, 
think we've just about got everything out of the containers. So, time to give it a little swirl. Let me go grab a skewer. Okay. Oh, that should be pretty. Okay, and that's still pretty liquidy, so I'm going to give that a spritz, and we're going to let that set up for just a little bit while I get the piping ready. All right, we are back to pipe the top of the soap, and I'm, I just wanted to test to see if the piping was ready there, and it is. I'll give it a spritz with alcohol. Just a little bit. Two more on each bar. Mm, this one just smells so good. Our teddy bears here. Just can't get over how cute these little teddy bears turned out. Is done. So this one is the purple Hooters with the white top, and you can really see that um, sparkle mica in the white in person. It's really pretty. So I am going to give this one a spritz, and then we'll be right back to cut Daisy Dream Girl and Japanese Cherry Blossom first. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we are back to cut the Japanese Cherry Blossom here. And I'm just going to put it on its side and do my best just to cut it straight. Cute. 
Alright. I probably could have There's that one, which I'm going to take a piece off of that one because it's huge. Oops, there we go. Okay, there's that one. Super cute. Trying to make sure I get them all pretty close to the same size. Really pretty swirl. And that's a pretty one too. You guys can see. Sorry about that. My lighting is terrible in here. Alright, there is eight bars. Should give us ten. And then 10, which I'll plane the back side of that one off so that it looks nice and pretty. But there's the other side. Okay, and now I'm going to go get the Daisy Dream Girl and we're going to cut that too. I'm going to wipe all the pink off of this real quick. that one. That's the side view. Got a little glycerin rivers in this one I can see. I knew it was hot because whenever it was um, in the mold last night I could tell. Okay, here we go.
Ooh, that's pretty. So there's the inside of that one. And then the teddy bears are on that side, so I'll plane that side down to make it look pretty. So glad that yellow turned out the way it did. It's really pretty. Sometimes Michael's a little scary like that. These are some great big bars too, I'm telling you. I'll have to weigh one to see what they're gonna weigh. Six point two eight ounces. I love this one. Mmm, that fragrance smells really good in the soap, too. I like that one a lot. I absolutely love these. I cannot wait to send pictures. And let's see here. I may have a fresh sample on the end of this here. This is the bar where the teddy bears were kind of hanging on the back side. It's little. <laughs> and in the last bar, this big bar. Alright, those turned out amazing. I can't wait to cut the other two. And then once we get those cut tomorrow, we'll get this uploaded. So... Stay tuned for that. We, we're almost done with this video, I promise. <laughs> All right, we are back to cut the last two loaves of the soap. This one is um, the Purple Hooters. And that's how it looks from this side. It smells amazing. Make sure you guys 
can see. Move it over just a little bit. I've had it out of the mold. Ooh, I can really see all the sparkles in the white. But I've had it out of the mold for a couple days just so it can get nice and nice and firm. Here's the inside of that one. That's very pretty. All right. Mmm, this smells so good. Mmm. I really like the way this crinkle cutter puts those edges on there. It's so cute. I really love the swirl. And there's a close up of the top, I guess, in the swirl. I think I ended up with 40 soaps total. I'll count here in just a minute. Oops. And there's the back of that one. soap is really hard because it's been sitting let's see I'm trying to think this is Wednesday and I made it Sunday morning so that's why it's a little bit harder to cut but it's doing pretty good The ends were really pretty. This they didn't um, they unmolded easier than the other two soaps, which was nice. So it didn't um, bang up the ends at all when they came out of the mold. And there's the front side of that bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if one of those is really small, 
I can leave that one out. We'll see. And then this one is the Honey I Wash the Kids. Um, and this is how this one looks out of the mold. And this is the side and the top. This is the most, the one that I'm most excited to see how it looks inside. Ooh, that's so pretty. And then there's the teddy bears. Mmm, smells good too. Super happy. I really thought I might have over swirled this one, but it turned out really, really nice. Let's see. That one's pretty, that part down there. Well, if you guys made it this far into the video, you've definitely watched for a long time. I knew this was going to be a long video, but I wanted to make sure that I filmed as much of um, her soaps as I could and put it out there so that she can watch it and show it to her family if she'd like to. So, I think that's pretty awesome. And I would like to thank her very much. I'm trying to keep her identity, you know, just private. But I do thank her so much for her order and letting me have so much fun making her soaps and for being such a sweetheart. So thank you, dear. I love that one. Got all the colors. Alright guys, this will be the last cut. Again, if you guys are a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video. There's lots more content to come. Sometimes I upload a lot and sometimes I don't upload for a little bit, but 
I'm always making something, so I'm going to be doing lotion soon too, so stay tuned. I'm going to try to film some of that. I'm going to do a test batch tonight, and we'll see how that goes, and then I might upload the next time I do it. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, all the good stuff, and again, thank you so much for being a sweetie and letting me do this order for you. Have a great one, guys. Take care.